Hey, hey, Mark Rodriguez here, back with King of Fires All-Star. We're going to continue with King of Fires 98. As we got an all-new story, Noah is missing, and we're actually teaming up with Kaya, of all people, to try to find her. Let's keep it going. Okay, so Chapter 3, and Shermie is somehow involved. Let's check it out. Impossible Combination. Well, we won the first round. I'm not sure if it's enough to be happy about. He's supposed to be a bug to be deleted later. Would be nice if they lost for our sake. He's the only one who has any clue about Noah. I ain't definitely contacted Noah, and Ryugo's definitely somewhere too. Finding everyone comes first. Damn, I wish I was good at being proactive like Ryugo, but that's unlike me. It's better to stay next to him so I can collect his data too. Okay, I should do that. Kaya comes rushing back, panting as she ran. She looks refreshed, as if she finally organized her thoughts. When I asked her where she was, she simply told me not to worry about her. I just had something to think about on my own, but everything's okay now. By the way, was the second round opponent announced? Kaya turned her attention to the giant screen on the building, which is, I guess, everywhere we are, we could just turn. It's always a TV screen somewhere. There, a reporter was recapping the first round. America team lost the first round. Second round will be with female Orochi team. Um, what? What? Female Orochi team? The hell is that? Exactly what I'm saying. Kaya freaked out after hearing the team's name. I asked her why she's freaking out. I told you, 98 is a normal tournament without any shady mastermind behind it, but all of a sudden, we have a team with Orochi's name on it? And on top of that, it's Mature and Vice? Iori killed them after 96 ended. How the hell are they alive? Oh, okay, so... In this case, I guess Noah brought them back, huh? I asked her if that's true, and she took a moment to realize what she said, quickly mumbling around for a reply. Yeah, I guess I wasn't around, so, like, I wouldn't know that Yori killed them. Like, how would Kaya know, right? Ah, well, I, uh, heard something like that somewhere before. <laughs> Kaya crossed her arms while she was engrossed in thought. She ended up sighing and looked at me with a defeated look. I can't think of a reason, and I don't think I can find one while we're stuck here. We have to hurry if we want to find out what happened. I'll try to gather up some data, so you just focus on winning. We have to win no matter what, and I never planned on losing. Interesting. So a team of Vice, Mature, and Shermie. Ready? Go! Huh. What's up? See, so I kind of like Vice. Like, between Vice and Mature, she's like the more... the deadliest one, I guess. What I think is because, you know, what well, do I know about the personalities? What I think is that Vice and Mature are both deadly, but Mature likes to, I guess, hide it and fake it and act normal before she kills you or whatever. But Vice is like, nah, skip that bullshit. She's vicious. She wants to kill you already. So this is like New Year's Andy. This is like how we get the New Year's Keith Howard is New Year's Andy Bogart. So let's see what he does. Cool. Yeah, great! I didn't even hit him. Yeah. 
There you go, I'll take care of them. No. Where's the boss? There we go. Finally, it connects. Okay, that's it. There you go. Let King finish him off. Come on, King. You're the purple element. There we go. Twisted story. Kaya appeared as confused as ever. Is my next opponent that strange? I told you before, Iori killed those two, Mature and Vice. I'm also worried that this one is specifically called Female Orochi Teen. Don't tell me. Kaya turned her gaze to the screen. It was introducing teens participating in the KOF. Jeremy, Mature, and Vice, a female Orochi team, is participating in the KOF. And another, Ryuji Yamasaki, Yasuo Nanakase, and Chris, of male Orochi team, is also participating. What the fucking hell? Male Orochi team. Kaya blankly stared at the monitor as if her breath had stopped. Soon, she began mumbling to herself, lost in thought once again. Was there a confusion in the system because Ayn contacted Noah? It's weird that there are multiple Orochi teams. And this guy's been around all the world and can't realize what's weird? Maybe there were some edits done on the system. And to revert the whole thing back, I must... Kaya stared at me with her arms crossed. I tried to patiently wait her out until she was done organizing her thoughts again. She mumbled. I have to use the bug to clear up the confusion now. Looks like she's come to a conclusion. She kept nodding to herself with her arms still crossed. Oh, sorry. I have something to think about again. I told her I was used to it and asked her if she finally understood the situation. I didn't, but I figured out what I should do. Basically, you have to do your best and win. Orochi team must be powerful, both their male and female members. I've been doing my best so far, and that's what got me here. I won't lose. This is the best I can do to meet Noah again, and that plan hasn't changed. I see. Let's hurry. To solve the mystery. You guys take a lot of damage. Die already. Jeez, look at this. Just a random thug. Die already.
There we go. Oh no, not her again. Here, take this. Okay, we survived long enough to do this. Finish her off, Andy. There we go. Non existent team. Female OG team was already waiting at the next arena. Mature caught my eyes and began walking towards me. So, you're our next opponent. We have no interest in anything other than Orochi. It'll be a good idea for you to give up now. Yeah, you don't want to get hurt for no reason, do you? You won't beat us. Wait, at least let me ask you something. Kaya interfered as if she had an objection. The two smirked at her. Sure, ask away if you want. You wouldn't want to die without knowing any reason. Yeah, fire away so you can die in peace. <laughs> I guess it's her evil version here. Shermie stepped out from Mature and Vice's side. She seductively licked her lips while standing in Kaya's way. What are you curious about? I can teach you everything you want to know. Oh boy, sure we goes both ways, guys. I have no interest in you. I'm only interested in Orochi. What are you after? Female Orochi and male Orochi? What's that? Fine. I'll let you know. Females and males have been going up against each other. For power in the Orochi clan. So, when male Orochi enters the tournament, so does female Orochi. That's all. It's our fate. Right. It has nothing to do with you. Surrender if you want to live. Wait! I've never heard of such a thing! How did that happen? Doesn't matter. Winning in KOF is important for me. If it's between the Orochis, then you should surrender against male Orochi team. Then, um, why? It's the same thing. I have to. I have to fight both of you anyway. I don't get that line. What an interesting thing to say. It's making my blood boil. Yeah, I don't think we need to go easy on this one. I'll make you rude today. You got involved with Orochi. Yeah, I think we already do. It'll be okay. It'll feel amazing! <laughs> okay, Shermie, you uh, settle down there, girl. Can you not say whatever you want to say? You don't know us. We won't lose. It's just as Kaya said. I can't lose in a place like this. I assume my battle stance against female Orochi team. It's more like um, Kasama. 
true equality. We'll still beat up females if we have to. I haven't seen an anime in a long, long time. I gotta catch up on season two before they make season three. Or whatever. That was actually a Kono Super movie. Like, holy shit. I gotta see that. Yeah, but it's interesting though because I'm or my character is living the story for the first time. Kaya is kind of sort of like us that she knows the King of Fighter story, like you know, as an outside um, perspective. So it's kind of interesting when you think about it that way. Switch to Andy. Just die already! My God, look how much. Like life these guys have. Here, Angel, get him. Now, I'm going to assume this is uh, Orochi Shermi or regular Shermi. I can't tell. Ooh, dude. Take this then. Oh, shit. Did I, like, completely miss or something? Fucking... Orochi, come save me. Betray your female clan members and just... Oh my god. Jake literally suplex bites to death. Like, what the fuck? Alright, there we go, guys. Uh, end of chapter 3. And I guess now that the rules are all over the fucking place, like, there could be all kinds of random teams. But it's kind of cool, because, you know, King of Fire 88, you can, of course, pick whatever teams you want and all that stuff. So, I guess it kind of goes well. I don't know how they're going to explain um, Omega Rugal, though, right? Because he's in the game, too. So, we'll see what happens there. So, anyways, guys, uh, hope that'll happen next time and more shit going down as we follow Kaya and try to find Noah. See y'all next time.